Powell, editor in chief of Retail Touchpoints, and I'm here with Russell Young, who is the SVP of Mobile and Interactive Experiences for Stratacash. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, you're welcome, Debbie. My pleasure. So we're going to talk about a couple of high-level trends, and the first one I'm going to throw out a buzzword: um, okay. omni-channel. So let's yeah, talk a little absolutely. bit about, you know, you know, what does omni-channel mean to you specifically, and to Stratacash, and also, you know, what what are you what are your thoughts on how it's going to continue to impact the retail industry moving forward? Uh, you know, it's funny how omni-channel seems like it's. it's it's almost kind of run its course, right? It's been a buzzword for so long, yeah. and you know, and when, it, when we first started talking about omni-channel, it was well, you know, we, we really need to put some real definition behind it. You know, there was multi-channel, omni-channel, and for retailers, where do we play? Yeah, yeah, where do we play? Where do we engage? Um, and so, you know, what I found is over the past couple of years, you know, retailers have, have been spending a lot of time. Number one, trying to identify with themselves, right? What channels are we playing in? Are we multi-channel? Are we omni-channel? Okay, great. We understand where we need to play and let's enable our ability to play there. What I think we're going to see as we move into 2014 and beyond is really how they start to, to accelerate those experiences in those channels and how they can really kind of tweak and, and define the ways that they engage with customers to where it's not only, not only can we play, but it's how we play when we're there. How do we most effectively communicate, you know, if we're going to meet our consumers really kind of at that intersection of inspiration and decision, you know, where can I interject in there and add the most value? For, for my consumer. So I think that what we're going to see now is now that a lot of that enablement has come, there will be a lot more refinement around, around where they engage and making that better to finally achieve that seamless experience. Not to use another buzzword, right? <laughs> but to achieve that seamless experience across all channels um, that, that we've been promising for so long. So are there any specific technologies that you consider groundbreaking that are really going to be impacting the industry this year? Um, you know, I, I don't know if I know if, if seen anything necessarily groundbreaking. I think that there's some there's some interesting things that could be coming our way in the retail industry uh, with regards to some of the more wearable technologies. You know, obviously the. Yeah, yeah, coming after CES, right? The glasses, the watches, all those devices. Um, I think that's a you know it's a very forward-looking thing. That how can uh, how can retailers take advantage of that? Uh, obviously, one of the biggest one of the biggest buzzes around here, technology-wise, currently is uh, the eye beacon, right? Exactly. The eye beacon and BLE. So um, while it, it's great technology uh, from a use case perspective, um, you know what we have to now figure out is okay, how can we most effectively use that? There's there's the natural resistance to the app and the Bluetooth, that, you know, it seems. So how can we really, you know, for retailers is how can we provide that incremental value to, to, to drive our to drive our customers to adopt the app, to use the to use the BLE and really let us speak to them while they're in their connected journey through their store. Right. Right. So what kind of advice are you giving to retailers that you're talking to here at the show or other customers and potential customers regarding, you know, how to how to reach those kinds of goals? Our advice to retailers is is don't wait. Um, test and learn? Yeah, test yeah. and learn. You don't have to be first, but I often tell them look at it from an ROI perspective and, and don't think of that as always return on investment, but return on innovation. You know, I, if I can provide an experience to my customers in my, in my category that my competition can't, then now I have a keen ad advantage in the marketplace. So, you know, my suggestion is, um, you know, identify a project that you want to do, put some, put some strategy, some thought behind it, really set some goals, um, and, and understand that when we hit those, this is what we're going to do. We're not going to we're not going to say that was great and let's stop, but be prepared. You know, if if we find success, be prepared to roll that out and move forward immediately. If not, if we fail, it happens. Don't be scared to fail. File that under as a in, into the investment portfolio, and and let's look beyond and, and find the next thing that we can really look to to find to engage consumers. I love I love that return on innovation. So with that, I'm going to thank you for joining us today, and good luck at the rest of the show. Great. And thanks, thanks to all of you as well. Have a great day.